So I am just painting Manuelito. Chief Manuelito. I'm doing the finishing touches on his on his hair. I mean yeah on his face and on his hair. So hopefully I'll be done tonight. Well, I don't, I'm not gonna be done with the whole the whole painting tonight. Probably just the portrait. Yeah. So, Chief Manuelito was um, one of the Navajo leaders back in the late 1800s when the Navajos were taken on that long walk to Fort Sumner, New Mexico. But Manuelito wasn't one of the captives that went on that long walk. He's, uh, it is said that he stayed behind with some of his warriors and some other, some other Navajos, I guess. Until towards the end of the four year imprisonment, they, he and some of his other warriors went over to Fort Sumner. And that's when I guess the treaty was signed in 18, 1868. So that's what I'm working on right now. I am I am using a photo reference. This is not out of my own mind. This I'm using a photo reference. So that is what I'm doing. So his name was Chilhajini in Navajo. I don't know what that translates to. Chil is plants. Hajini is um, like a black black streak or something like that. So that was his name in Navajo. Tuachitni, born for, born for Batani, I, I believe. So that's who he was, a Navajo leader. In the 1800s, late 1800s. who I'm painting. Now and then I like to now and then I like to challenge myself by doing a portrait. I don't do I don't um, I don't paint portraits all the time because they're hard to do. I'm not really, I'm not really good at it, I guess. So, I am doing the necklace right now. So I'm not gonna really get into detail about every little detail on the necklace. I'm just gonna make it simple because I don't want it to I don't want it to be the the 
the main focus. I want the main focus to be his face. After after the Navajo people came back from from their four year imprisonment in Fort Sumner, Manuelito really advocated for education that was part of the treaty treaty part of the treaty was for for the, the our people to have their children go to school get get the western education so so he really advocated he really encouraged his people to put their children in school so they can learn the learn how to read and write and whatnot so but but two of his kids died because of the because of the um, boarding school situation back then, I guess um, native students weren't treated fairly. They were abused. They were sexually abused and mentally, physically, and whatnot. So, so some of them ran away from school, from boarding schools. and the schools being far away from where they live or where they're from they just froze to death on the way on the way back home I guess so that's just that is just what I know I don't know much it's just a little thing I know and I just like to share it some people may disagree with me, but I'm just I'm just sharing a little bit what I, of what I know, what I've learned, or you know. So His necklace. Yeah. Acrylic dries really fast. Really, really fast. It dries up on my on my palette. And it dries up on my palette really fast. So When I'm painting like this, I'm in my uh, I'm in my studio right now. I just I just use my the back room as my studio, and my family are in there in the living room. And now I'm doing my kids come in, and I get distracted easily. 
Sometimes I just quit. Once I get distracted, I just stop painting. That's my flaw as an artist. Now I just need to work on the hair, the lines, the lines right here, they're too sharp. I need to soften the lines, the edges, I mean, I need to soften the edges. These edges, I need to soften them up right here. But I'm going to do the background, uh, fix up the background a little first. And then at the, the at the end, I'll probably soften the edges, and I should be done. This is a twenty by sixteen canvas. The way I started it, I did a little video. I did a little video doing doing the background too when I first started it. What I did was I just put any. Um, well, first I I did the um, the undertone with this earth color, and then I just started putting in shapes, just any color that it didn't matter what color. I just as long as I was putting paint on canvas, and at the same time I talked about it. You know, just instead of just sitting here thinking about it thinking about what to paint, what to put on. I just get to it, put put paint on canvas right away. So, so that's, that's how I started it. I put in the shapes, colors. So all I, all I was doing was at the beginning, all I was doing was um, just playing with shapes and colors. And while I was doing that, I was thinking about what can I, what can I paint? Should I leave it as an abstract? Because that time it was an abstract painting. Should I leave it as an abstract painting or should I put something? Should I use this as a background? So that's how it started. And now it's it's going this far. And hopefully some of the edges around here they're pretty, pretty, pretty sharp. That needs to be softened up. Around here, the edges are needs to be softened up. That's one thing. When you're doing portraits, you, see, you can't have sharp edges all the way around. You need to heat. You have to soften up some of the edges. So. And then the, I was going to put, I was going to use um, like bright colors to paint his face when I was first starting working on the, the face. And then I thought about it. Hey, the, I already have bright colors in the background. If I use bright colors on the face again, it's just going to blend in with the background. So I figured, why not just use the regular, you know, um, the regular, the regular skin tone. So now it works out because it contrasts the, the bright colors with the earth tone. 
the contrast just kind of brings it out, which I like. So that is what I'm working on. And Manuelito was in his younger days. He was the he was the um he was the son in law of Chief Narbona. Narbona was another another leader. Navajo leader that was back in the I believe it was the early early 1800s I'm not sure about that one but he was one of the leaders also dried up while I was talking my paint dried up my paint on on my palette So this is all I do to soften up the edges. Yep. That should work. This is my reference right here. This is what I'm using as a reference, photo reference. And it's pretty small. And then the other one, this one is um, black and white and it's kind of blurry. So these two are my reference.
So he has a, a strand of hair that is sticking out right here. I should have some music. It's pretty quiet. Oh shoot. So now I kind of fixed up the hair a little 
Now I'm gonna concentrate on the background. Then I should be finished. Thank you all.